here we go. So this is the pitch pacer to the stage. focus on it and the trail strip <clears throat> so relatively high pitch slight crease in there over this way but it really is quite difficult to get the knack of the nest which I'll show you in a minute and the trail start itself but it tightens the drum at the back, which is where I want it. Slight curvature there, but that will change, I reckon, the more I pitch it out. Everything's fairly low to the ground from this side, obviously, because there's an indent and a flag there. You can see the seam sealant makes a terrible friggin' mess, but it's completely watertight. That's the thing to it sealed across the tops and down the bottom there. It definitely needs that because that is so under tension from the pole and from the other bits as well. So that's nicely down. You probably can make out my nest that's against the side there. Anyway, that's round there. And uh, that's the mouth of the trail star. Slightly higher pitch on the front there. I guess it could go down a bit lower and that will probably pull it a bit more taut. Okay, and that, my friends, is the ook nest inside there. It's really hard to get per perspective. It's a generous porch with the inside it. It's obviously a lot higher than Paul's um, nest, bear, whatever it is, bear pod, and this. And we'll go inside in a second. Now we're inside the nest, and as you can see, the little struts keep it nicely tight. All the different things on there just uh, look quite nice. A little lever up sort of patches there. The struts or the tensioners are everywhere. I think there's only one or two on, on the bare pod. But this it makes use of all the different attachments which pull it out tight. I'm not sure how many you're meant to do and what, how many things you've got to do. This isn't clearly symmetrical, so I've yet to figure it out properly because there's a little hook there, you can see, that probably goes around that one there. And as you can see up there, that's the uh, doodah, the whatnot, <laughs> the pace pole. And then you've got <laughs> This here that loops around oops, up at the top there, the, up at the top of the trail style, there's like a, a hook sort of thing like that, <laughs> and that hooks around it, okay. And then you've got a bungee here that hooks around that. I'm not sure which way that goes around. And then you've got these very similar to the doodah, the bear pod again, uh, in the sense that it hooks around. I think the slight difference is um, this is line locked. Um, I'm not sure if the thing's line locked on that one. The Chikara reinforcement at the top there for the whatnot there. And the moving around, you've got the same thing, um, which is the struts keeping it nice and level, everything nice and tight. You've got the call it in America no see -um. midge netting basically to you and I and everything is nicely done with a little bit of Dyneema <laughs> rope sounds daft but it keeps the weight down doesn't it and it looks quite palatial in there 
and that my friends is the nest open yeah it's wrong completely because you've got a ridge that runs the wrong ear the doodars stuck out here so it, it, I guess it needs to be a bit further out it's so hard it's at number seven it should be at number nine or thereabouts I think and it's at number seven mind you it is in not completely in the ground so I've been piss arsing about needs a lot of practice with this uh, not necessarily with the nest but I guess bringing it all together and that's the sort of like dimension it's pretty big it's a lot bigger than the the doodah the zephros as it stands and I'll show you in a second when I get in it right I'm in it now and this is inside the nest as you can see that's outside the trail star looking out to the top end of the garden that's my hand try and put it in perspective that's the doodah that's the uh, the nest around a little meshing pocket in for me god it's massive <laughs> I'm not sure exactly which way to lie around on this but I'm actually lay down at the minute oh. as you can see It's just not pitched right for some reason. It needs to come out ever so slightly more. But it's loads of bloody room. <laughs> what Paul was saying really in terms of the room. That's like it's only a warmish day. It wasn't as cold I don't think as Paul had it the other day. You can place this nest in a different configuration I might ask Sean which is the best way um, but I think the reflective tab which is at the back that way it should be on the back pole um, which is how I've put it a sense of my um, issues there look at they're a size 9 and look how much space you've got there okay next I'll zip it up for you now then and this is the view from me sitting up and I am sitting up at the minute if you can see you can see round obviously like I say it's not put up properly but it gives a good perspective of where I am Cuban slightly higher than poles, but it's clearly higher than poles. That's what I've specified. Car floor it was nice, very nice indeed. It's cold on the floor. Um, you can just make out the carbon struts there. Not doing a great deal at the minute, apart from it being, you can clearly see it's all off kilter. Definitely need to practice this, and I'm not having it. Um, and that's outside it's completely meshed all the way around whereas the Zephyros you'd have like about I think about this much if you can see upwards and then a meshing at the bottom there this is Cuban fibred here which is slightly translucent and then you've got the mesh midge netting you'll see them and um, this is inside the dude inside the trail stuff oh <laughs> it's great size i love it that's me against it there if you can look put my jacket down that's my legs splayed out okay and then from there it's there put all my stuff there's just loads of room. It's just, oh, it's lovely. And that's on a number seven. 
So the trail star is not at its highest there. Clearly, it needs to be at a number number ten. And it's at number. Where is it? Number seven. Um, like I say, these things here. Can you see how that sags? Obviously, because I haven't got it right, it doesn't necessarily do it justice. But if I pull that. Does it rattle? Okay, and the same for this end here. it in a bit. Sure it could be messed about with I think. Just to make it but the purpose isn't for that at the minute. I'll probably ask Sean for a few details and how he does his probably. And uh I'll get back to you on that one. But he deserves another pitch that's for sure. I'm not doing it today, I've got to go out Clearly, you can see the pace pull not quite in that socket there. So, there we go. And in the morning, if you want to, you can. This is the Y or the T, do that. Is you obviously rattle this up. Got a bit of a wind, and then you're looking out. Right, that one's still there. That <laughs> was about that. It's lovely. This by far is the best shelter tent setup I've ever had. It knocks the pants off the Zephros in terms of, you know, compactability, size. Weight, um, everything really. It's just a majorly versatile sort of shelter, really. At the minute, I'm probably close to getting a tent come shelter. It's a very loose uh, tent, I would say, because it's got an open door there. Uh, that door can obviously be hunkered down and strapped down, and no air coming in at all. This can obviously be brought down to a very low height. Yeah, just one last uh, dude out to film. I've just pulled that down and given you a demonstration of it at its lowest height. So that's when the trail star comes right down. It's up here at the minute. It's not its highest, but it comes right the way down. And this is so sort of to that. So it can still come down even to a lower sort of standard. The struts keep it. Um, sorry, not the struts, but the, the bungees keep it nice and tight on all ends, and it's still a functional sort of nest inside. It's still patent, and you'll be able to sleep nicely in there uh, with no problems. And that's when it's a fucking mess outside. Again, it's not tight, I've not worked it out properly yet. I'm going to send Sean a couple of. Uh, text messages and whatnot, not um, but you can see you can see the idea once I get it right that's the idea but obviously this will be straight and tight and flush so and that's the thing that it comes down and as you can see basically it's a matter of uh, to go back up again if I can do it it's undo and uh, when it locks uh, take it back up well, try 
going to do it with one hand. You get, this, you get the idea. That drops it. That drops it there, see? It? And then that pulls it across there. Okay. And that's your lot. Okay, guys. I'm goosed. So this is the works minus the trail star. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Just put a bit of a guy line around it just to prop it up. You see all the little features, Chikara base, shop loop, Dyneema. There's a meshing, looks you. Cuban um, windbreak, I suppose. Moving over to little features of just plastic sort of runners to stop it from snagging and whatnot. As you can see, stitching is impeccable. This all goes for these Cuban as well. Moving round. These are all line locks. There you go. And these are all bungees. So they're meant to be under tension. As you can see there, inside there, the ones that keep them upright. Again, I've not done it properly. But it's doing alright. So it's on its own. Moving around again. Line locks, loops. Now this I think is at the back. This is what I'm gonna question with Sean. That's a little reflective panel. You think this is right at the back of the trail star. That's how it works. You've got little shocks here and here. This is to I think to toggle to pull the um, the doors in. Moving round, one would think that's the back, but it's not because it's a pyramid shape. Again, bungees, chicanas, thing there, the little sewing edge there is actually my little pocket. Moving round again, just going round to the side. More tensioners, another one there to go that reaches out to the the side of the trail star and you can see inside it's a nice little palatial whatnot <laughs> den shelter whatever this is as I showed you in before this actually line locks around little dynema part of the rope two attachment points got a clasp there that runs down to the top of the Chikara thing there, as well as this line lock thing here. It takes that down, as you can see. If I took that off, and then allowed the line lock to take that down, you can see how it goes down. And it's a matter of then pulling that. Do you get it? Why do you do? Um, take it back up again. Can't. And then inside <laughs> the nest. This. Now look at the floor now, look at the difference in the floor. That's a little bit different, isn't it? It's completely and utterly flat. Everything's seam sealed and seam taped by Sean. Taped over there, little meshing. <coughs> you can see me looking out. Nothing changes, eh? That's a cube in there. But it looks nothing more than a bloody tissue, to be fair. I thought it was very rapid. It's 
I think this car is more likely. And we're good to go. So there you go. Obviously these <laughs> wide open, you can have it completely rolled back. You've seen that, haven't you? So there's a toggle inside there to roll the wheels back. I think they've done well with the having the T design like Paul's got. Um, I've to try the Zephyros style rolling down. It's only my opinion, but I think this one's slightly better. This one has a more of an expanse on it and slightly more to right. That's the works. <laughs> Whether or not it's better than the bear pod, I don't know. I've not seen the bear pod in action, to be honest. In my opinion, slightly more polished. Um, under an eighty-nine pounds, whatever it was for the bear pod, for this Chikara floor, um, which is more resistant, I guess, to punctures and whatnot and abrasion than. Cuban fibre, even at its highest density, according to Sean, well, we'll see. Um, slightly more expensive. <laughs> Cuban fibre walls, slightly higher. So I paid roughly about 220 for this, uh, in comparison to £190 with the delivery and all that lot for a complete mesh there. So if I, I guess if I would have gone for the complete mesh door, I probably would have looked what. 10 quid off, maybe more actually thinking about because Cuban's quite expensive. I would have got it for a probably similar price. You make your mind up. I guess I've got problems, one thing and the next. So there you go. There's the ink nest for the trail star. Nice product. Looking infinitely better than. Uh, any kind of inner file for any kind of tent, to be honest. Beats the pants of any Terra Nova, uh, Illyberg stuff. And it's made by a bloke in Castle Douglas. Unbelievable. Good show, mate. Good show. I like it a lot.